Hey guys, welcome back to XOXO Droplets, where we're doing Matteo's route, the artsy boy. So for Matteo, you have to get him a maximum affection and get to level 3 in any part-time job. So that's going to be super duper easy to do. Basically, because I'm going to be working at the second task of the bookstore on Saturdays is when Matteo is there. So by the time I've done that and gotten his affection up maximum, I'll have got to level 3 there, so it should be pretty easy to do. Um, but before we get into like type game stuff, Shiloh's interrupted us with a uh, random scene, so I thought I'd bring you in for it, guys. Hi, Jerkit. You're here so early. Yeah, so are you. Do you always come to school way ahead of time, or is this some weird coincidence? Just kidding. Obviously, the correct answer is that you're here because I'm here, you little stalker. <laughs> Actually, I do get here pretty early most of the time. Why? You're not Nate. The school is kind of relaxing when it's not so crowded. Uh-huh. Pran? Now what are you doing here? The cafeteria hasn't even opened. I get up early. Is that a problem? No, but it's weird. Hi, Pran. Do the two of you see each other during the snowman's hour? I see him. We never talk. Having a conversation with Pran is pretty tough. Finally, something that's not a big surprise. Still, I guess this is actually a prime guy time. Maybe I should start coming to school early more often. <laughs> not really, of course. I don't like guys that much. Not enough that I'm willing to sacrifice my sleep, so... <laughs> uh, anyway, I thought I'd bring you guys up to the weekend. Let's see. So it's the 18th, first year. Um, and... Missy, 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 tell me about Matteo. Matteo... So Matteo's at 90 so far. And, like I said, he works on Saturdays on the second task at the bookstore. So that's what I've been doing so far. And I've got some gifts for him that I'm equipping weekly. So, yeah. I guess I'll bring you in when something else happens, guys. Alright, we've made it to the type game. So, first off for Matteo, his disposition is introverted because he's artistic, I guess. Introverted. I like a little more of a challenge. Sigh. Of course you do. What can I say? Opposites attract. Huh. Alright, and that's it for the personality portion of our questions. Wow, you weren't kidding. How short is this quiz? There are nine questions. Really? Not even ten? I could make up one more if you wanted me to. That's alright, just bring on question two already. Okay, question two. In comparison to you, what's your preference for height? Taller, shorter, about the same. Matteo is taller. Taller, please. What a predictable answer. Pfft, whatever, I like what I like. Great. Question 3. What's your preferred body type out of the people here? Kind of scrawny, sort of fit, or more muscular? Um, let's see. Matteo is thin. Mean and lean. Uh, why? Because it looks good. No need to act so confused about it. Mm-hmm. Question 4. How do you feel about the length of their hair? Long, really short, at least a little something that hangs down. Matteo has long hair. Long, then I can have something to run my fingers through. I need to cut my hair. Aw, don't be like that. Alright, question five. Do you have any preference for skin tone? Lighter colored, medium, especially dark. Um, you don't have to answer if you don't want to, Jerkit. Uh, Matteo's medium. Nah, I don't mind sharing. Right around the middle works best for me. Okay. 
Question six. Uh, I don't know if this question will really work. What's the problem? It's about the outfits people are wearing, but, you know, uniforms. Can't you tweak it? Sure. Everybody will just have to think about the types of clothes we wear outside of school, though. I'm sure we'll manage. Got it. Question six. When it comes to clothes, what types of color schemes do you prefer? Light and saturated colors, dark and muted colors, a mix of both. Um, no surprise, light and saturated. Light, saturated, basically pretty colors. Is pretty really the best word you could come up with? <laughs> You're such a baby. It's okay if someone uses the word pretty for guy things, too. Question 7. Do you care about the way their eyebrows look? This is getting ridiculous. Sorry, there are only so many questions you can ask about this kind of thing. Who cares? It's almost over. Let him ask the dumb questions. <laughs> As I was saying, is there something you prefer when it comes to eyebrows? Really thin, average, extra thick. Let's see. Average. Just regular old average eyebrows for me. That only refers to the thickness, right? You don't mind if there's some other not average thing about their eyebrows. <laughs> no, I don't mind. <laughs> Alright. Question 8. Glasses. Yay or nay? Matteo does wear glasses. Interesting. Definitely yay. All glasses, all the time. Well, I think there's no argument on who wins this round. Yep. Question 9. The last question. Finally. You do remember that after her, we're all going to have to take a turn, right? I know, but this part is almost over and that's something. Hardly, but whatever makes you happy, sweet pea. Shh! Give me the last question, Shiloh. We're so close to the results. Uh, maybe we should skip it. Ugh, what's the problem? The last question is unfair. It's about piercings, and SSB doesn't allow piercings for guys. There's only ever been one exception, so we couldn't know if the results were really right. Fine, let's ask. Is there anyone here who would have a piercing if you were allowed to have one? Me. I'd pierce my ears, or at least one. Anyone else? Uh, I would. Jeremy, you'd have a piercing. Yes. Wow. What would you pierce? My belly button. Oh my god. I could have gone my whole life without knowing that. <laughs> and there you go. We'll just use our imaginations to pretend we live in a world where Everett has his ears pierced and Jeremy also has something pierced. That'll work. And once again, a nay on the piercings. Mm, no thanks. If you didn't want the guy to have a piercing anyways, then why didn't you say so? We could have skipped trying to figure out who hypothetically would have had one. Sorry, I was curious. So, now then, what's the result? Your answers aren't very good. Well, excuse me. Pardon? He's right. Your answers were bad. They hardly fit any of us. That doesn't make my answers bad. That makes all of you bad. I can think of someone her answers work for. Oh yeah? Who? Matteo. He's not in our group. So? He still fits. You're right. He does fit. Good job, Shiloh. No problem. Thanks for being helpful. If you're expecting us to go find Matteo and make him join the game, you can forget it. I wouldn't make you do that. Actually, we don't have to play anymore. I- what? You're ending the game just like that? Uh-huh. Does that mean the meeting's over? Her confused face. Um, no. If Shiloh doesn't want to play anymore, we can end the game, but we can't end the meeting yet. Then what are we gonna do now? Alright.
right. Well. Thanks for helping, Shiloh. <laughs> Even though you still wanted to uh, quit on that. So, let me bring you in on where we are. Uh, let's see. Missy, Missy, Missy. Uh, Artsies? Ooh. Actually, last time I looked, I'd only got one of these filled. Now I've got two. So that's good. And we're in the first year, January 31st. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Well, I'll continue grinding and, uh... Probably bring you in for when we make him our boyfriend and we can read up his details. Uh, otherwise, if a new scene shows up, I'll see you then. Alright, it's April 12th of year one and... It is time to make Matteo our boyfriend. So, let's do it. I actually got the third level in a job not too long ago, so it was good timing all around. So, look, he's got a nice little beret and a paintbrush, I think, that are like part of a green sideburn. Uh, anyway, he's in the artsy's clique, his enemy is the nerds. He likes tablets, action shows, and sunshine. Dislikes tardiness, erasable pens, and cows. An interesting collection of likes and dislikes. And his effect is all part-time job tasks will pay $60, which is nice, so you can work wherever you like. And, actually before I do this, I don't need to have those gifts going on weekly anymore, so I'm just gonna weekly equip that instead. And then we will go out, and it should just be the same energy. I need all that stuff to go away, though. Go away. Yeah, same energy. So, that's basically that, I guess. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll just go through the weeks as quickly as possible. Actually, getting his affection up was very easy compared to the other guys. I got all that done before we went on the school trip. Intriguing. Okay. Well, if something else happens, I'll bring you in. Otherwise, I'll bring you in at the end of the school year. All right, well, it was a very quiet time at school. No new scenes for us, but it's time to say goodbye in our final days here. And who to start us off but our actual click boyfriend, Matteo. So that's kind of nice. Hey, congrats. You done good. Thank you. All right. I don't think there's going to be that many people I'm going to actually say goodbye to this time around. It might just be Matteo. Oh, no. Weston proved me a liar. Hmm. Why can't it be tomorrow already? It's coming. And Yanis again. Catch you on the other side of the field, Mickey. Thanks, though you know not everything has to be sports related, right? And Andrew. I'm never gonna forget the days I spent here. Good for you. I'm glad you liked your time so much. Alright, so last day. Who needs Ralph? Who needs Ralph? Won the prom stuff. We got the money. Alright. Goodbye, room. And blah, my sisters. <laughs> and goodbye to my school. We did it! Whoopee! Well, thank you, Matteo. You've now risen to the top of the click boyfriend list. <laughs> because you, uh, you came and said goodbye the earliest out of everybody. So congratulations, Matteo. <laughs> You're killing it. So it's Matteo, then Jason, then Rex, then Ralph. There you go. There's my list. <laughs> what an arbitrary list I'm coming up with. Anyway, that's it for Matteo. Uh, so we're all done with that. Next up, we've only got two left, guys. We're, we're getting there. Uh, Davis from the Nerd Click is next. So, should be fun. <laughs> I uh, hope I'll see you over there, guys. 